Are you looking for StreamYard alternatives to run your video recordings, your interviews, podcasts, and live streams? Well, I am going to break down all of your options, pricing, and pros and cons in this video so that you can make the most informed decision for your needs. Now, just a quick look at why this video is necessary in the first place. And if you already know what all the drama is about, feel free to skip to the alternatives using the chapters below, though, hint, hint, you may not want to skip it just yet. So a lot of people are a lot of pissed off when StreamYard was bought by a company called Bending Spoons and very quickly doubled prices or even more for some existing customers in an effort to make StreamYard as successful as possible in the long term. But it wasn't as simple as just raising prices. So different customers seem to have received different prices and zero pricing info can be seen on their website anymore. They've taken that off. So you must create a free account and log in to even know how much it's going to cost cost you. Why? Well, they say that, quote, showing the plans and prices page after a customer logs in allows us to try different offers and ultimately find those that work best, end quote. So just like when you sit down next to a seatmate on the plane, you know you're not paying the same price as they are. They might have gotten a killer deal for their seat, or maybe they're paying double what you are. It is highly unlikely that anyone on that plane is paying exactly the same price. So this either makes the new owners of StreamYard either incredibly brilliant and game-changing if the entire world of software subscriptions does the same in the future and it becomes the new way of operations, or it makes them incredibly shrewd and willing to risk the entirety of their customer base in favor of building up a brand new customer base. Only time will tell. So at $17 more than the lowest price on the alternatives list, what is StreamYard offering to make it worth it? Well, I honestly can't give you an answer on that other than maybe an investment from a larger company to develop the product at a potentially faster rate than their competitors, but we won't know that for at least a year. Quick tip, if you do want to stay with StreamYard, you might just want to go through the cancellation process and see what offer you may wind up with. Just saying. By the way, I'm Laria Petrucci. I help you create better videos and live streams by choosing the right gear and software, show up confidently on camera, and get out of your own way so that you can create authentically and live boldly. Having done videos and live streams for 19 years, here's my ideal set of features for you to have in whatever choice you make. 1080p quality, at least three participants, so you can do podcasts, interviews, and guests, at least two multi-streaming destinations, custom graphics, pre-built scenes, so you don't have to fiddle around with a whole bunch of mouse clicks during your production. Now, a scene is a collection of assets, so your camera with a screen share or two cameras adjusted to your liking, etc., etc. No brand logo on screen. I want your videos to be branded by you, not the platform, and the ability to display comments on screen during a live stream. So with StreamYard's new pricing, you're going to pay $36 a month for most of these features. They don't don't have pre-built scenes, only layouts. If you want a second camera or 4K, that price becomes $68.99 a month. Restream has previously been StreamYard's closest widely known competitor. Though on the pros list, more robust multi-streaming and analytics capabilities. They do have pre-built scenes, though they're not as customizable as some of the alternatives. On the cons list, while you can pay as low as $16 a month, that single feature of 1080p quality on Restream jumps their price to $30. $9 a month, which places it at a higher cost than StreamYard, and you cannot add a second camera even if you wanted to. Riverside is known for the podcasters in the house, but they recently added a live stream studio, which now puts them squarely in this competition. Pros list, you get two cameras, 1080p streaming plus 4K recording, and everything else in my ideal list for only $25 a month. You even get an editor included so you can do post-production. And you can add live call-ins and extra AI tools for $34 a month, so way more tools for around the same price as StreamYard and Restream. But on the cons list, like StreamYard, Riverside does not have scenes, so it has six of my seven ideal features. And now generally, because their live stream studio is so new, it is very basic at the moment. EVMux is not as well known yet, but I think that's about to change because for free, 
For free, you get almost my entire list. You get 1080p, which no one else has. You can do lower thirds, banners, and tickers for free, but not custom scenes or graphics, and everything is watermarked. But if we take a look at the lowest paid plan to compare apples to apples, on the pros list, you get my entire ideal list from EV Mox at only $19 a month, which comes in at the lowest price of the bunch. The pre-built scenes are the most customizable out of all of the alternatives. In fact, you have full control over the sizing and positioning of all graphics, including images. They are the only ones who support animated WebM overlays with transparent backgrounds, which is a really good thing. You don't have to understand what it is. Just trust me, it's a good thing. <laughs> that means that you can do fun stuff like this and this and that. By the way, you can grab EV Mux animations, overlays, and templates in our store. Link in the description. And they have built in interactivity like a spin the wheel feature. That is a lot of pros. If you want three cameras and ISO recording, which allows you to get each camera source recorded separately for post production editing, you can go to their $39 a month plan. Now, on the cons list, it's not going to give you everything you can possibly do in Ecamm or vMix. These tools give you complete control to create a broadcast quality video or stream because they are downloadable apps on your computer and use computer resources to do more, unlike all of these browser-based solutions. And tools like Ecamm or vMix have what's called a virtual camera to be able to send all of your graphics, the entire production into other apps like Zoom so that you can blow your attendees away. Now, to my knowledge, this is not technically capable on a browser-based solution, but I would love EV Mux to prove me wrong. Come on, bring it on. <laughs> so Ecamm is the tool that I use for my productions and to get all that EV Mux does, plus the most capabilities and the virtual cam in Ecamm, you're actually paying less at $32 a month, but it is Mac only, and it does not have a built-in spin the wheel option, which I know a lot of people love. So you can learn more about those two options in the description to make the best choice for you. And here is the deal. For my Bold Video Bundle program, I train on two softwares, one being Ecamm, of course, and now I will be swapping my StreamYard training in favor of EV Mux. So in my book, these are the two clear winners for your alternatives to StreamYard. But what about you? Which alternative are you going with? Leave a comment. I gotta know which one you're choosing. Drop it like it's hot right down there.